Hi everyone and welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. <clears throat> if you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And all that wonderful stuff. And uh, on to today's project. Um, today we're going to learn some macrame. And uh, this is going to be for the uh, collapsible handle for the ferrocenium rod. Um, a lot of people don't know how to macrame. They get intimidated by it. Um, for the most part, it's super simple. You just got to have a little bit of patience and uh, willing to push through it. Um, I'm going to be teaching two macrame uh, knots today. Both of them you'll need for the, the handle for the ferrocenium rod. And uh, if you guys want to learn other macrame knots, leave it below in the comment and I'll gladly make a second video teaching you a few other knots I know. Um, uh, if you don't know what macrame is, it's just a fancy way to make knots. Um, it, it's not like a hitch knot or a, a clove knot or a, a, you know, slip knot or bowling knot or any of those types of knots. These are knots that are designed to be chained together in order to make uh, either a stronger type of, of material or for um, uh, decorum, uh, decorament, uh, whatever, for fancy stuff, for like hanging plants or something like that, or something you have around your house and you don't want it to look ugly, you want it to look nice. Uh, it's also good for jewelry making and stuff like that. But uh, back to what I was saying, this is this is for the uh, the handle. Um, it, it's necessary to know these knots um, if you want to make it the way I make it. Uh, I'm sure you can take my basic idea and transform it into anything you want with a little bit of imagination. But for those of you who really like my design and want to stick by it, give me one second. And uh, I'm going to change the angle of the camera real fast, okay? All right, guys, now I got that angle changed. All right, so you're going to have to bear with me just a little bit because working on another project, I uh, thought it would be cool to take off the end of my thumb for, you know, giggles. So uh, I'm, I'm dealing with some stitches over here, and uh, you're just going to have to give me a little patience, but... The first knot I'm going to show you is the knot that actually goes on the handle. So there's two different knots. One for that goes on the handle, and then there's one that comes off of the handle that attaches to the striker. That's the second knot. So the first one we're going to do here, <clears throat> all right, is going to be the one that goes on the handle. Now, I'm left-handed, all right, so you guys... It doesn't matter which way you start. You can start this way, you can start that way, but because I'm left-handed to keep the uh, the rotation going the way I want it to, it's, it's easier for me to start from the left, okay? So we're going to pretend that this is the handle, the, the two strings coming down the middle. We're going to pretend it's the handle, all right? And what you'll do is you'll come over the top of it, all right? And if it helps you any to remember, you're making a a, a backwards four, right? No, a right way four. Excuse me. It'll look backwards on TV, though. Uh, so once you have that, all right, then you take the second string over here, all right, and you're going to come over the top of that string, all right, the first one you flopped over, this one here. All right, you come over that. Then pinch the two together, all right, and 
you'll eventually find your own rhythm and your own technique of, of how you want to do this, all right? But pinch it together and slide that other one under the other two or behind the handle, right? And then you're going to come up through the other one. All right, the, the loop you made over here. You're going to come up through that loop. All right. So you should have something that basically looks like a, a, a standard square knot almost over your, your string, your rope, your whatever you're using, what we're pretending to be the handle, all right? Now, in order for it to twist... Okay, which is what we're going for. We're going for a spiral twist. You're going to start from the same side again and go through the motion. So we're going to come up over the two strings, creating your, your loop here, All right? Come up over the pigtail of that one. And then you're going to push it up underneath everything and up through all right and then you're just going to pull it tight all right pull it tight make sure they snug up now because of the way i'm showing you guys the beginning's not going to look real good but after we do a couple it'll start to look better so over the same way always so you're always starting from the the left, or if you're right-handed, always starting from the right when we're doing the circle. And we're going to go over the, the top, over the, the pigtail hanging off, underneath all of it, and up through the hole. All right? Now that I've explained it a few times, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and do some work real fast and show you what we're going for here. All right, and after you get a few, you can go ahead and give that a little twist and tighten it up a little bit. All right, and then when you do that, it's still going to be the same no matter what. You'll still start from the same side and keep going. All that's doing is tightening the twist so there's more of a twist. So if you don't like a tight twist and you want a wide twist, you wouldn't do that. All right, you're only doing this to create a really tight twist. As you can see, that twist is coming together very tight. All right. That and after you work for a while, it'll want to twist on its own. You'll eventually have to flop it like that at least if you don't want to grab at the top and actually twist it around to get that tighter twist but you'll eventually have to at least flop it so all right guys that should give you a good idea of what what it should look like all right of what you're going for that's that's the nice twist you're looking for all right now the second knot, you're doing exactly the same. All right, so over, under, through, and pull. But this time, you wanna alternate back the other way. All right, and do the same knot backwards. All right. So, uh, over, under, or over, over, under, through, pull tight. But 
when you go back and forth, which you can see, now I'm going back and forth, over, over the pigtail, through the hole, all right, you'll notice that it's starting, oops, I got myself backwards there. And once you've done this enough, you'll start to see the mistake before it happens if you get it backwards. So there's no frets and you can always undo it if it doesn't come together right, right? So this knot is the one that will actually make your tether to your your striker and it'll also act as a way for you to attach it to things like i said in the, the first video to your your uh, oop messed up to your belt to your backpack you know whatever you want to attach it to so now that I've done a few of those, you'll notice how there's a nice straight braid, all right, or a nice straight knot going on there. So there's the difference between the two. Those are the two knots that I'm going to teach you today because these are the two we need. Um, if you want to learn a few other knots, feel free to, to leave a comment in the the place below and if I get enough saying you want to see more knots I will gladly teach you more macrame um, other than that give me one quick second so guys I, I hope that was helpful um, for uh, other things in your life other than just this project uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them and make this project as easy as possible for you. And uh, I'm full of those and us today. I, I gotta get rid of that. But please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Consider subscribing if this was helpful at all. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, this is the Penny Pinching Prepper. Have a good one, and remember, God's good, and God bless.